Hello, Pittsburgh. First, U.S. Steel has been an iconic American company for more than a century, and it should remain a totally American company. Yeah. American owned, American operated by American Union Steelworkers, the best in the world. And it's, that's going to happen, I promise you. American Steelworkers can outwork, outcompete as long as they have fair competition. But for too long, the Chinese government has poured state money into Chinese steel companies, pushing them to make so much steel as much as possible, subsidized by the Chinese government. Because Chinese steel companies produce a lot more steel than China needs, it ends up dumping extra steel into the global markets at unfairly low prices. And the prices are unfairly low because China steel companies don't need to worry about making a profit because the Chinese government is subsidizing them so heavily. They're not competing. They're cheating. They're cheating. And we've seen the damage here in America. Between those years, 2000 and 2010, more than 14,000 steelworkers in Pennsylvania and Ohio lost their jobs. 14,000. Let me ask you, are we going to let that happen again? No! I promise you, and I'm not going to let that happen again. Look, right now, my U.S. Trade Representative is investigating trade practices by the Chinese government regarding steel and aluminum. If that investment confirms these anti-competitive trade practices, then I'm calling on her to consider tripling the tariff rates for both steel imports and aluminum imports from China.